Object, object. Yes, we're on the right road. Yes. Yes. We got, the, we got the border at half nine, didn't we? Yeah. It's so half three. It's half four the time zone. Half four, you can go to the time zone. If you don't go to the time zone, it's half three. Either way, it's a bit But we got, we got out of the border at 12. Yeah, so it's taken us three hours. We did spend an hour changing two tyres. Right, so um, we haven't done any blogging in a while because, well, we've been uh, trying to make up for lost time. But, well, things that happened in Iran, basically. Um, in ten minutes, then. Uh, in ten minutes, then. So, yeah, we try to make up a lost time because of you know borders. And Uzbekistan. And Uzbekistan, yeah. And now Kyrgyzstan. So we arrived at the Kyrgyzstani border last night. Woke up to find out that the border we were our intended border was closed. Kind of sold out, as we were told. Kind of sold out. By a guy that spoke some German. I got woken up by a bomb or a landmine or uh, something. You got woken up by some sort of explosion. Could have been anything. You have assumed it's a landmine. It could be anything. It could be for the quarry TNT or something like that. Landmine. I'm lucky to be alive. So is he. Yeah. Um, so, just as we were leaving, well, Getting, first of all, getting through Ker customs from Uzbekistan to Kyrgyzstan was simple, easy compared to uh, the Turkmenistan one and the Iranian one. Much easier. It's because we got in early with the signing of the car. Yeah, we have discovered and it. They all lived out in the Shira. Yeah. yeah, if you get in the sign of the car, they do not check your luggage, pretty much. So, yeah, we're good. Um, we then got out of customs at about 12, drove maybe two kilometres. Going that road and got another flat. So changing that flat, um, the car suddenly slipped down the it was on a slight slope, it slipped sideways and the jack started to come out from underneath it, so we were frantically trying to find rocks to prop the axle up so that it didn't drop. Um, because it slipped just as we put the tire on and one of the one of the tires one of the tires, sorry, one of the wheel screws went through one of the, the holes, but it was the only one and had the car fallen on it, it would have bent it permanently and we would never get, we would never have been able to get the wheel back on ever. because um, it would have just bent it out of shape. Um, so we're frankly trying to find rocks and bits of concrete to pop the axe up so we could remove the jack and then jack the car up again to get the tire off because it was just it was wedged. Um, and then out of the out of the mist came <laughs> our knight in the shining armor. I didn't. Where did, where did he come from? I have no <laughs> idea. This Kyrgyz Sambo just turned up um, and just he, well just helped us find rocks and lift the car up and move the tire. And, yeah, and then he disappeared. And he just walked off into the sunset. And then just the walked sunset, off into the sunset, leaving us to do the third wheel. Yeah. Because um, when Nathan had to buy two new tires to replace our our the tires that we used in in uh, in Turkmenistan and. And uh, near Bukhara, he bought two new ones in Samarkand, and we then um, they didn't have our size. They didn't have our so size, so they are up. they are slightly bigger and um, wider and slightly wider the tires we need. So to stop the car being on an angle for the rest of the trip, we've uh, had to. Actually, I don't like that the squeak. Uh, we'll cover up the squeakers in a moment. Um, so to prevent the car being permanently on, on a slant the whole time. As the Uzbek uh, <laughs> mechanic said, Mr. Bean. Yeah, yeah. That's how they described it. The two words you understood. Yeah, the two words you understood as Mr. Bean. So hey, we, what, we just decided when we had the next flat, we would just replace three tyres, so we put them... That's a worrying squeak. That's now. crickets. Is it? Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> We'll come to what the knocking <laughs> speaking is at the back of the moment. It's not thankfully the crickets. Phew. I thought we'd get louder. Um, so yeah, we just decided we'd replace well, either the front two or the back two so it was the same. And we weren't driving on like a left slant or a right slant. Um, so we lost the front right right wheel, uh, front left wheel. Um, and decided, right, okay, we'll, we'll replace the back two while we're on so that the, the larger tyres carry more weight. Because um, we were riding low at the back. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, we replaced 
front, uh, sorry, we replaced the back left, that's the one that slid, we corrected that. Then we replaced the front left, which was the one that was um, flat. Right, all good. And then we went to replace the back right to, make the, to even up the rear wheels. And at this point, we discovered that uh, our suspension on the right hand side has snapped. Um, well, I say the suspension, the coil's fine. The large steel bar that attaches it to the rest of the car has snapped. We discovered this because we moved the jack up to its fullest extent of travel and the car still hadn't lifted off the ground. So, um, yeah, it's just every now and then we go over a bump and it probably knocks, the car knocks on the axle. Um, so we're having to not goof it as much at the moment because we haven't yet decided what we're going to do. Whether we're going to just try and get the Mongolia on one. Or I'm going to hoof it. Or if we're going to try and weld it. You're not going to hoof it. You'll be asleep when I drive, so you won't know. Yeah, however, you'll be asleep when I drive and I'll just drive the opposite direction. You'll never know. So, we haven't yet decided what we're going to do. Um, We'll see when we get to Bishkek. We'll, go, we'll have another look because we suspect that we snapped this um, in the mad dash from Bakara to uh, Samarkand over really shitty roads in the middle of the night trying to make up time. Any time after the second flat. Any time after the second flat because that's the second flat we replaced it. It would work fine then. So, yeah. Shit fuck shit fuck 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 shit. Basically. I think that's everything unless you got something to add. Think of anything. Just everyone knows Alan Shearer. Everyone knows Alan Shearer is. The bloke in uh, Uzbek Customs was talking to me about Gold the Movie. What? Sir? Gold the Movie. That's it's the it. movie that, that, that they filmed Newcastle about a kid from Mexico. Came That's over to Newcastle that he had. He talked about that. Also, I'd like to point out that every all of the road signs are in Credic and our map is not. Yeah. The only way we know we're on the right way is because we went through a town called Otto Zadia, which has a hyphen in it. <laughs> and the sign had a hyphen in it, so we're going the right way. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the compass says northeast, so yeah, definitely the right way. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting this. Yeah. We'll keep talking on our podcast. If anyone wants to be bored by mechanics.